722.6. Today it's Wednesday. Wednesday, May 4. Okay. What I did today, before I remove this one, that when I remove this one, I rape it. You see the scratches there. I didn't remove it properly. Now, today I remove this one. How I remove that from the other uh, from the other housing? I warm it up first, then I was have good attachment, and then I took it out, and I didn't compromise uh, the vertical lines that you see inside. Is because I tested here, and because it's dry, it's not a big deal. Okay, so you can put it this way. It's passing. Okay, and you can put it also this way. Okay, and even without being in the housing, because it's going to be compressed a little bit, it's okay, it's good, it feels good. Now, the previous one that I removed, first of all, this is this is how it's supposed to be pressed inside, not like this, like this. That means the part number is supposed to be upside down, because there is a lip here. Okay, the other one that I removed before, on, on Saturday I think, if you put it this way, it goes inside, but it doesn't go full inside. Why? Because, like I said, I compromise it. Like this doesn't come. Anyhow, I don't care. This, I took it out as a sample. All right. Now, compare this one to this one. It looks a little bit better. This is what I did. I get a, a, get a, a used one. A wire wool that's very soft and I make it even softer because it was already used one and before I remove it I just pass it a little bit to see uh, if it's in good condition so I don't want to remove it if it's not in good condition so compared to this one like I said that it sticks some metallic savings there it's much better I believe I'm gonna make a test also at the end that's the plan that's the plan. Now, regarding the pump, the pump I don't have with a needle bearing. I have with a bush, this one inside, with a metallic bush, okay? But this looks beautiful, it does have any problem. And the seal is excellent, all right? Has a rotation mark there, has the Mercedes part number, it's written on Mercedes Benz on it, okay? So I don't have any reason to don't use this seal, it looks beautiful, okay? Same thing with the bush. The only thing that I'm gonna swap from this one, it's the the o-ring, this seal outside, because this one's an old one and it's been squeezed inside, became flat. You can see that this doesn't come so much out, this comes a little bit more out and it's more round. My target is to put together the transmission to have a space inside of the engine room. I figured it out with this one, I changed it, okay, all these parts are fine, there is no problem from this point, from this side. Let me take care about this one. I'm gonna start closing, like I said, to create some space. And then I'm gonna continue with the valve housing, the body down, to finish also this one. Yep, this pump, I don't have to keep it here inside. No, I need the seal. I need the seal, and then I'm gonna throw it out. This bus, no need to keep it inside. This can go back again there in the position with the rest of the parts. I'm gonna check the clearance later on. And another thing that I didn't do it up to now is to measure the thickness here and measure the thickness also from the other one to see if it's the same. If it's the same, we are okay. If it's not the same, I have to play with the seams to don't be tight, don't be loose. It depends. Small update. Small update on what I'm planning to do. I'm going to show you. I have to go to the, on the lathe machine and fix one adapter for that one, aluminum adapter, to don't hurt it. So to come comes a little bit more down yep so I have to fix a lip I'm gonna get a sample of the other one I'm gonna have this the, the other uh, pipe call it as you like I'm gonna fix one nice adapter I'm gonna warm it up and then I'm gonna put it inside just I need to go straight inside because this you can compromise if you're not straight you're gonna deform this and then it's gone most probably they have a special tool to put it in to align it Let's do it right, because I have only one chance. <laughs> Better to spend one hour and fix an adapter than to do something fast and screw it everything. 
that's it that's the plan okay where am I now I unpress I remove the old one from here inside okay that's the other one now I fix this adapter that this one it's exactly the same diameter like this here this slip this goes like that okay so this what you see here it's exactly the same like this one and then there is a step here what's the reason of the step it's very simple when I'm gonna put it here I'm gonna press it inside this you're gonna go on the step there and we're gonna center it You're gonna adjust also the depth it's exactly the same actually I, I did get the measurement I fixed this one based on the bush when it was installed before so we're gonna go in the specific position on exactly the same specific position like before and most probably this one I'm never gonna use it again <laughs> anyhow it's out of aluminium or aluminum called as you like why I didn't make it stainless steel because I need more time to machine it aluminium is much faster and I'm not gonna use it 100 times one time maybe another one and that's it now continue putting this in place like I said there is an order yes like this it goes inside cooling it down warming a little bit up not more than 90 degrees with a heater gun with an air gun uh, not more than 90 degrees because it's also this been pressed fit inside you don't want to to make any mistake here don't make any damage this one cooling it down with a classic way and then press fit it a little bit of oil here and everybody have it then I have to open it to clean it inside I haven't opened this I haven't opened it yet nice not bad not bad the new used bush in place that's the old one forget about this one all right one test here just to be okay it should be fine it should be beautiful and then moving on to open and wash also this ready once again I'm gonna wrap it and start with this one Yay. and here we go again this one was clean once upon a time it's not anymore that's the reason why I'm opening it that's the reason why I make all the job again from the beginning I knew it I knew it was gonna be here inside the surprise is gonna be to be clean if it was clean I'll be happy I'll be happy because I don't have to go back again to do all these things that I have already done it. Now, this is how I'm opening it. I have to slide slide it carefully to don't stick any ball, any plastic ball or any check valve like that. Oh boy, it stayed down there. No, on the rug, on the rug, on the rug. It's it's still it's not plastic ball screen plastic ball, check valve, steel ball and because it's fluted here I'm coming with the syringe, I'm removing all the fluid carefully. I already know that because I have done this before and I have it here so let's go carefully take it all out put it in, a, in this small jar if you like and start cleaning it right story of my life You cannot leave it like that, you know, I mean, I clean, I wash everything inside the transmission, then what, I'm gonna keep it like that, this one? Yeah, I hope that didn't hurt any valve here, that's the most important thing, all the rest you can clean it. So didn't, don't hurt anything here inside. Screen, okay, let's take it out one at a time, in order, and move on. Time to close it. 
nice and clean a little bit of transmission oil inside there was not any scratches fortunately everything's been washed beautiful no metallic pieces savings or whatever inside that's the plate here that's the upper piece nice and clean now the book obviously I don't remember exactly where they're going <laughs> all of them it's been washed taking one at a time putting it inside following the numbers and everybody happy there is a specific position for each one and sends to you which one what is doing what I just don't remember because it depends in which application it's this one 2.6 some of them they are changing okay overall it's nice it was only dirty closing by again <laughs> okay back together contactor plate installed these two solenoids I changed before I wash it I clean it. it's beautiful now I have also the new one let's put it on to finalize it solenoids installed okay nice now I'm gonna install it on the transmission I need one filter and I have to go to wash the oil pan because it has some pieces from the carton I don't want to get a chance but I need to go for washing it's supposed to have also a gasket down here if I remember right because they are saying that either you can use sealant or the gasket and I prefer to use sealant to be honest and not the gasket oh, come on now well yeah okay this is a cork like a cork no it's not a cork cork okay. it might be this goes back to the customer and instead of this I'm gonna put the old oil pan all right yeah let's move on and that's the end I put some nylon here so don't come any dust inside block this one block here block here all right uh, from the breather, I don't think so that it's gonna come something like that and gonna fell inside, right? Uh, sealant, like I said, okay, it's still wet. And waiting for the torque converter, yeah. By the way, by the way, I was thinking that this is a solid, this is not solid, this is flexible. You see, that's why it doesn't have so many vibrations. I was thinking it was a piece of Teflon, let us say it was a solid, but it's not solid. So definitely this one is not going to create vibrations. I don't know if there is a different rate to be more hard, let us say, but... This it feels like the stock one, a little bit... I will say a little bit more... No, when you put a new transmission mount, it's, it feels like this, maybe a little bit more stiff. Yeah, okay. Alright. Why not? Not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. That's the end. Now, when we're gonna get the torque converter, I'm gonna make another video. Thank you.